me doing my makeup at school right now is reminding me of the times where I would literally tell my parents that I had tutoring in the morning when I would actually just go in the girls locker room and do my makeup every single day before school because I was not allowed to wear makeup. But there was this one day where I decided to put on makeup at home instead of at school because we were running late. So I get to the car like way earlier than my mom that way I can like sit down and like you know hide my face with my hair so she cannot tell that I was wearing makeup. So she gets in and like we normally don't talk in the morning because it's like super early and I'm like laying my head up against the window and she asks me a question or I like answer her without like moving my head because I have a full face of makeup on and she can't see. So then she asks me what's wrong. And I'm like, oh, nothing, mom, I'm just tired. So I still have my head like this, like, not looking at her. And so she's like, look at me. And when I tell you my heart dropped, it dropped. So I look at her, and, like, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, like, it's fine, Brisha. She's not even going to notice. Like, it's fully dark outside. She can't even tell. She can't even see. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to talk myself from freaking out. So then she proceeds to say, do you have makeup on? So then, like, I'm like, I have to lie. Like, I can't just tell her that I have makeup on. So I'm like, no, I don't have makeup on. Like, and I'm, like, looking like this, like, so she can, like, not stare at me for too long. And I'm like, I don't have makeup on. I don't even own makeup. Like, no, I don't. And I was getting, like, such an attitude because I was mad. So then she looks at me and she's like, Brie, you're lying. And I'm, like, looking at her, like, dead at her. And she's like, you're lying to me. Are you lying? And I'm like, no, like, I don't have makeup on. So then she takes her white dress that she's wearing and wipes my face with it. I kid you not. So she whips the car around and I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, we're going back home and you're going to take your makeup off. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I'm fully going to be late to school at this point. She makes me go home and take my makeup off. And then she took my phone and I was grounded for a very long time. So I literally had to walk into school with no makeup on at all. But luckily my first period was athletic training. So the girlies had me. They had like, you know, makeup on stuff that I could use. But yeah. So get ready with me while I tell you how I found out my ex was cheating. Well, my friend had texted me and she was like, she made a catfish account on Instagram. And she was like, can I catfish your boyfriend? And I was like yeah but like you're not gonna get anything out of it so oh well like we almost like she almost didn't go forward with the plan because i was like convincing her that like he wasn't going to you know so she ends up texting him anyway so that night you know i go to bed and the next day me and him were going to south carolina to get fireworks for the fourth of july because it was almost the fourth of july the entire day i'm just waiting for him to tell me that you know some girl texted him or dm'd him on instagram you know so we end up going to like out to eat it was like probably like four o'clock and he finally tells me so i'm like oh my man's not a cheater so then after we eat you know he tells me everything he shows me it and i'm like okay so i'm good he takes me home right after which i thought was kind of weird because we would usually hang out till like late so i was like mm, that's sus but whatever so i get home right and then i'm on facetime with my friend who made that account okay my friend is like, Daphne, he's texting the fake account. And I was like, what do you mean? So as he's texting it, she's sending me all the message and just telling him what he says also. And I start bawling my eyes out because he starts flirting with this catfish account and saying that he wish he met her sooner and tries to give this catfish account his phone number. And it was like the same exact words that he told me whenever he asked me for my phone number. So I was like, you're kidding. But in that moment, I was bawling my eyes out because I didn't think that he would. And he freaking folded. So uh, my friend was just trying to tell me, she's like, it's okay, it's okay. And I was like, it's not okay, it's not okay. So then I ended up going to my one friend's house because I didn't want to spend the night by myself because I was so upset. So I go to her house and, you know, I tell her everything. So she was just like, you need to confront him, you need to confront him. At this time, I was scared of confrontation. And the only way I could confront someone was if I was really mad. So that was something like I had to work up to, you know? So I'm just blowing my eyes out with her. And then this night, he's like nonstop texting me. And he's like begging to pick me up from her house in the morning. Like, boy, guilty. 
But he had no idea that I knew. So the next day I wake up and I have to go home. And he's begging me to pick me up. And I was like, no, like my mom can just pick me up. Like it's no big deal, like whatever. Because I didn't even want to see him after that. So anyway, I'm really upset and I go home. And he said that he was going to come over. So I was like working up the courage to like confront him because again, I had to be like really mad and I was just sad. So before he gets there, I tell my sister everything and she's just mad. She is so mad. And she's like, you're going to tell him, right? And I was like, yeah. So I was getting a little bit mad at this point and I was working up the courage, right? So he finally gets there and walk out into my living room and he's sitting there and he starts talking to me. And I was so ready to tell him, he's like, come here, I have to show you something. So he takes me to my kitchen and on the table, he had a whole bunch of stuff like McDonald's, like face mask, all the skincare stuff, like coffee creamer. And then I just felt bad. Like, I know I shouldn't, but like, I felt bad. So then I couldn't say it. And so I, I just didn't say it. And so that whole week, he had no idea that I knew and he was still texting this account, right? I'm at work and stuff and I'm just really sad. Like, I, I, I'm just, I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. So then he texts me and he's like, oh, I think I'm going to show go, go to this girl's house. And like, because I want to see if it's actually her. Because at this point, like he was getting sus about it. So he literally told me, he's like, yeah, I think I'm going to go to this girl's house. And if it's the real her, like, we're just going to talk for a little bit. Boy, homeboy, wh why are you lying? Why are you lying? Like, you're you're not, you're not. So remember, this is not a real person. So like, my my friend was like, do you want me to go through with it? And I was like, yeah, let's see if he pulls up to the house. So she gives him the address to the house across from her. And he shows up there. And she literally took pictures of him standing at the door and sent them to me. Yeah. So afterwards, I text him and I'm like, so did you go to the house? Like, I already knew he did, but I was going to see if he, he was going to lie about it. And he's like... Oh no, I just drove past it, but it looked like nobody was home, so I didn't go up to the door. And I was like, boy, I literally, there's pictures of you at the door. Like, I, uh, uh, what? So after a little bit, it kind of simmers down and he like stops texting the account because he gets like sus about it. And then I went on for a few weeks without saying anything. And I was literally just like suffering in silence. So then before I was going to go on this vacation, I was like, I can't go to somewhere like on vacation and enjoy my time if I know he's going to be doing sketchy stuff behind my back. So I was like, I need to tell him that I know and send him the screenshots that I have. So, you know, I'm about to go on vacation. So I was like, I have to tell him. I have to tell him. So I text him and I'm like, I know about everything. And I sent him all the screenshots and he still tried to lie to me with the screenshots and everything right there. So do you want to know what he said to me? This is what he said to me. He said, Daphne, I thought it was one of my homeboys. So that's why I texted the account. He thought one of his homeboys was playing a prank on him. That's what he tried to tell me. And I was like, boy, it is very clear from the messages that that is not, that was not the intention there. You did not think that. Like, quit lying. Like, I have the screenshots. Like, because I was an idiot at the time, I still stayed with him after that. And... Can we just talk about the fact that he folded over a fake account? Like, it was very obvious that it was fake. All that to say, a few months later, I, I literally caught him texting his ex. So, that was fun. And she was, like, at the top of his Snapchat list was his ex, and he had told me he blocked her, and I was like, hmm. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the story time.